Hello everybody, today we're going to look at the concept I'm calling scoped component slots. If we take a familiar user flow here, you'll see that we have an overlay with a dialog for signing up to the newsletter. The likelihood is that we're going to need to support lots of different content types. What this would then mean is that we need lots of main components and main components for each of those variations. This to me looks inefficient because we're duplicating a lot of the effort here in visually similar components, which could be consolidated. The traditional way around this is using a regular slot component. If I go to my library file, you'll see I've got a slot component here, it's pretty simple, and I can insert this into my designs. The replacement for this one would be, let's take an instance here and detach it. And then what we need to do is make sure this slot goes inside this dialog here. So copy and replace. What I would then need to do is wrap this in an auto layout frame. And I'm just going to call this slot wrapper and make sure that this is the same width as my dialogues. So we've got three, two, one as the width here, three, two, one. And I'm just going to remove all the padding and the margins here, add auto layout to my top level frame, remove that space between and make sure that it's set to centrally align. Then remove the absolute position and make sure my scrim or background is set to absolutely positioned top left and then bottom and right using the constraints. Make sure it's underneath this one. The slot wrapper I want to be centrally positioned too and I want my slot on the inside to be filling that container. We can now turn this into a component. So we've got this new modal or new dialogue component using a slot. What I can now do is take my screen again and actually replace this overlay with this one. This is our new one now. So I'm going to come in and swap that like this. I've now got the swap me component on the inside and I just need to make sure that I can swap it with other things. So double clicking in, Go to my slot layer and set up an instance swap property. I'm going to call this slot content and remove the slot, then add some preferred instances. So I go to my modals and just make sure all of those are now available. Create the property. Now in my new screen, I can select the modal and you'll see on the right hand properties panel, there's an option to change the content. So I've got all those new forms popping up. As I swap them, you see sometimes there's an auto layout problem. So we just double click in and make sure that our slot is actually in the right place. And that we're using hug contents for that height. I can now go in and swap them out. This is cool. However, we still need to support all these different, very similar designs. And there's a way around it, which I'm calling that scoped slot component. So if I go to this other page, you'll see we've got a very similar layout, but we can actually now remove all of these components because what we're going to do is use the same concept, but we're going to have that wrap around the outside for the visual design around the content. This means that we only now need to support all the forms that fill it and not the actual modal or dialogue itself. In a system perspective, I can store this modal or dialog in my component library, which means that every single modal or dialog would look exactly the same. And all my designers would be creating these form elements locally in their design files. So on a component page, maybe, and then swapping them out inside their designs. So if in my dialog here, you can see in the layers, I've got that slot modal being loaded in on the right hand side. I've got the instant swap that I can change to my forms and the type. So the way that I've done this here is we have a form variant and each type has been set up. You can see we've got an issue. Let me just double check what we have. This one's actually the newsletter. This one is a refer a friend. This one is event. So now taking an instance of my dialogue into my screen, It's set up to include the form on the inside, which is this component and the type from here. So what this allows us to do, as I said, is remove all these identical components from the scrim to the modal. 
We use the slot from our library on the inside of a local slot modal component, or as I said, this can be in the design system. We pull this in to our dialog component. If I just reset this, you can see we've got that modal dialog on the inside. This then gets used inside of our designs and my designers can choose the form on the inside and the variations from there too. Similar to before, you might find that you have some auto layout issues. That's okay. We need to drill down to the variant itself and make sure that it's set to hug contents. That's slot components using a scope slot. Let me know what you think and happy designing.